Hi everyone, it's Alex from Tailscale here. In today's video, we're going to upgrade Tailscale on OpenSense. OpenSense is one of my favorite FreeBSD firewall distributions. Try saying that three times quickly. And we're just going to go through the steps of upgrading from one of the old versions to one of the new ones. All right, so let's get started. You can find the most recent release of Tailscale over at tailscale.com slash changelog. As of recording, that version is 1.58.2. Now, if we head over to our admin console and take a look at the machines in our tailnet here, okay, there's only a couple because this is a demo tailnet, but you can see that my OpenSense instance here is running version 1.50.1. Now, it's worth pointing out at this point that FreeBSD is not an officially supported target for Tailscale. However, we do make a build available through the OpenSense ports project, and uh, we're going to show you how to upgrade that in today's video. So you are going to need console access, either via SSH or some other means, to your OpenSense instance to do this. There is no GUI way of doing this with the packages as of today. So uh, I have a virtual machine here running in Proxmox. I use this for a lot of demos on this channel. And let's just hope the demo gods are kind. Okay, we're logged in. Now, once logged in, you're presented with this menu. So I'm gonna select option eight to give me a shell. Next thing I'm gonna do is just check my tailnet status. Okay, I can see that I'm connected. And uh, what else can I do? Tail scale version. I wanna just double check the version the client thinks it has. So you can see version 1.50.1 that matches our admin console. And our Go version is 1.21.1. So what we're gonna to need to do now is go through the process of updating Tailscale by refreshing our ports and then doing a few more steps. Refreshing the ports is quite straightforward. So if we type OpenSense hyphen code and then the word ports, it's gonna pull down a fresh copy of the BSD ports repo. Once that's done, we need to change into the directory where the Tailscale ports code actually lives. So that's slash user slash ports slash security and then Tailscale. Once we're in here, we need to then do a make deinstall, which is going to remove tail scale from your system. Notice there's a mismatch here. So this is the entire reason I'm making this video. The client was reporting 1.50, but I did an upgrade and a make install and it installed 1.56, but some stuff got left behind. So the way we fix that is with a make clean. When we do that, it's going to remove the version of Go and the old version of Tailscale that we didn't want anymore. And then finally, we're going to do a make install. Now, this make install will take a while. It's going to take all of your CPU cycles. So depending on the horsepower available in your OpenSense system, this might take a couple of minutes or it might take 20. Great. And once that's done, let's just verify that we've got the new Tailscale version with Tailscale version. Sometimes it's necessary to do a service Tailscale D restart. You can either reboot OpenSense itself or just do what I'm doing here, which is a service Tailscale D restart. Um, and then if we head back over to our admin console, sure enough, if I refresh, we should see that the version here has changed from 1.50 to 1.58.0. Now we didn't cover installing Tailscale on OpenSense today. There'll be a card to a video where I've already done that up here. In that video, I also go through using Proxmox, VLANs, Tailscale and OpenSense to create a segmented area of your network if you're trying to learn more about home lab networking and that kind of thing. Head over to tailscale.com, try it out for free today. 100 devices and three users for free, no credit card required. Now, until next time, I've been Alex from Tailscale.